take a look at really basic technique with our solid body electric ukuleles today. So this is really aimed at uh, ukulele players who have probably been playing nylon string, electroacoustic or acoustic ukuleles and are now having a go at the solid body version with steel strings. Um, there are quite a few differences when you're playing. I'm not a guitarist, so this was all very new to me. I'm no expert at all, but I just thought I'd share some of the little things that I have learnt so far playing electric uke. Using my lovely Flight Vanguard um, solid body with steel strings, I just want to look at some of the absolute basics today. So the very first thing I'm going to start with is talking a little bit about plectrums or picks. They come in a huge variety of sizes, thickness, shapes, colours. I was quite shocked, to be honest. As I said, I'm not a guitarist. Um, but over the years, I have managed to pick up quite a few uh, plectrums along the way. As a music teacher, people are forever giving them to me because they found them. And if I ever see one, I've got to pick it up. I'll just do a little demo with some of these just for you to have an idea. So to start with, let's get some sound going. We've got, I must point this out, my new bare-faced Reality 112 cab finally arrived. Um, going through my Hughes and Kettner, I am recording all of that separately. I've got my pedal board down here, mainly so I can switch sound on and off. Um, we've got sound. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to do some strumming a minute. I will then talk about strumming, okay? So this is a flexible uh, plectrum. Leather plectrum. A credit card plectrum. A really short, stubby bass plectrum. I think of these as, but you can use them on here. go completely mad a suede plectrum very very flexible so for you to find your perfect plectrum or pick um i would try and get just like a variety pack you can buy them on amazon many music shops do them or you can actually buy several different sizes and thicknesses um, they're not that expensive, but experiment with your plectrums and your picks for what suits you. So that's a little bit about plectrums. Let's carry on with our right hand technique a minute. And I'll look at strumming to start with. The biggest thing that I've noticed, the difference between playing one of these and playing a nylon string um, acoustic or an electro acoustic ukulele is everything needs to be much much lighter the pickups on these um apart from giving a lot more sustain to the note they tend to be a lot more powerful and of course the steel strings as well so um when i'm strumming strumming much much lighter like I played at the beginning just a C an F and a G chord okay um you're gonna have to practice the technique getting used to a plectrum it is very difficult you can pluck with your finger Um, 
you get a much different sound and the steel strings are a lot more difficult to strum using your fingers okay um but with a little bit of practice and getting a much lighter feel <laughs> hold the plectrum imagine because what this really needs to be is an extension of your hand your finger so if you hold it with the pointy bit where the middle of your nail would normally be okay so if I go like that you can see a moment all right hopefully that's focusing in there okay um the actual pointy bit is just above where my nail would be. And if we look at it that way, it's a bit easier like that. Oh, like a little dog. Okay. But you can see that I'm gripping it. I'm holding it quite tightly, but I, you know, I'm not sort of really, really pressing down too much because then you lose any flexibility in your wrist. And very gently, I'm just going to... strum generally on acoustic ukuleles you tend to strum over the fingerboard with these it depends what model you've got for example my Reza LP has got a switch up here which makes it very difficult to strum there I quite like strumming on this flight vanguard towards the bottom of the neck pickup almost in between the two pickups okay so when I'm strumming I'm doing it really nice and lightly I'm holding the pick with my first pick finger as if it's an extension to my fingernail. Not too high up. You've got to leave enough of the pick to be able to actually catch the string. And when I'm strumming, I'm using a really, really light wrist. Down strums are much easier than up strums, but it will um, take a bit of practice to get it nice sounding. So something like this. I'm using it's it is as floppy as light um, as flexible as if I'm strumming a normal ukulele but obviously you would just keep in hold of that pick or plectrum as well start hacking at it especially if you're just doing d um, down strums to start with it kind of get a little bit okay actually try practicing like that so just mute the strings you're not pressing them down and just doing an island strum down down up up, down, up, down, down, up, up. Okay, so it's it's managing to hold the pick without dropping it, um, but keeping a nice loose wrist and being much, much lighter with your strum. Okay, um, single picking notes next using our plectrum. This is the thing that took me quite a lot of getting used to. So I'm just going to run through some really basic exercises today just to get you used to plucking or picking the individual strings. So let's just look at downs a minute. And what I would recommend is just choosing a string, any string for a moment, and just get used to... <laughs> If 
you're hitting the wrong string or you're hitting two strings when you start, look, okay? So you can be... Get a bit faster. But try and be consistent. You notice there was one note there that I fluffed a little bit. Sometimes I'm putting my little finger, resting it against the front of the ukulele, just to give me a little bit of stability. Sometimes um, I take that away, all right? But it does help, especially when you're first starting, just to give yourself that little bit of a platform to rest your hand. Okay, still just one string, no notes for a minute. Let's just try down and then up, okay? Again, if you're not 100% sure, look at your hands. You're actually looking to see where you are picking. So I'm still on the C string and I'm just going to do a series of down, up, down, up. doing this I'd be missing the strings and the notes all the time I'm keeping the plectrum very very close to the string and if you miss one just keep going because at that point you need the rhythm or the timing to be nice and steady okay moving notes Let's go back to just downs for a minute. And we're going to look today, as I said, I'm keeping it really simple, a C major scale to start with, okay? So you can see now the notes and the tabs have appeared. And all I'm going to do to start with is play four downs on each note, nice and slow. It's just going to get you used to picking nice and lightly. So four of each note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, same but going back down maybe a little bit faster but still just downs four of each note see what I mean about the sustain as well the notes hold for a lot longer and I'm not Dig in those strings and keeping it really, really nice and light. Okay, still on just down picks. All right, I'm going to do two. Same scale, same notes. This is just getting us used to um, plucking or picking at the same time as moving the notes as well. <laughs> Okay, one on each note this time. All right, and again, we'd, we're trying to keep all the notes a consistent volume. All right, I'll talk a bit about a left hand in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so that's just down picks on a C major scale. 
I just talked about left hand, okay? I don't know how well. Can you see my fingertips for there? All right. These are very thin, light strings. So just like you're strumming, you've got to be really quite light on the fingers. Now, looking at my fingertips there, it doesn't look like I'm that light, but honestly, I am. It's just these strings cut into your fingers a little bit more. The reason you need to stay quite light on your fingertips is if you're pressing down too hard, you are actually likely to push the string a little bit. You don't notice it so much on an acoustic ukulele, but on these... Can you hear the difference then? I started off quite light. start to press harder the intonation or the tuning goes out a little bit because my finger is forcing that string that's another lesson looking at pitch bends okay but keep your fingers on your left hand when you're pressing down nice and light but try and get up on the finger top so you've still got to make sure the string is pressed down firmly enough but not so firmly that you're actually making the strings and the notes go out of tune Okay, so we've looked at right hand a little bit and left hand a little bit. Let's go back now to picking with the plectrum and we're going to try something called alternate picking. In other words, down, up, down, up. All right. I would highly recommend getting your downs sorted first, even if that's just what you practice to start with. All right. But let's just try now down, up using the same notes, our C major scale. And again, we'll do it four times for each note to start with. So it'll be a down, up, down, up on each note, really nice and light and really hardly any movement in your right hand. So down, up, down, up, slowly on each note to start with. <laughs> Let's come down the scale. Okay, it is going to take a bit of practice. Um, I haven't really looked at scales much on the ukulele. That is something else. I will do with these, okay? So this time we're going to do the same scale, C major, but we're just going to do a down up on each note. In other words, just two picks. <laughs> just a case of getting a bit faster and eventually maybe taking your finger off a little bit so it just gives you a little bit more movement with your hand. If you've got a metronome or an app on your phone or even a drum machine it is really worth practicing that so you get a nice steady beat. <laughs> in it until you get it right. In fact, don't practice until you can get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. You want everything when it comes to strumming and picking. Second nature, so you're not actually thinking about it. So when you are playing, you can really concentrate on all the fancy stuff, okay? So let's try our scale. One pick per note. Alternate picking. <laughs>
noticed I was doing two on the top. See, it just makes it easier with your downs and your ups, okay? Otherwise, you've got an odd number of notes. Just as I'm unplugging this, some of you may have wondered why my cable is going through the strap. It's a safety thing. If it's not going through the strap and you step on it when you play in, um, you are likely to yank the cable straight out of your uke. Whereas if it's going through the strap, there is just that little tugging point which is likely to save it. You know, you could be in the middle of a live performance or, or just sat at home, but you don't want your cable to come flying out. So pop it through the strap when you're plugging in. I do hope that has helped. Um, I know I've actually kept it very, very, very simple today and I will be doing more of these. I'm gonna look at things like my little blues riff that I do quite often, just strumming or picking a couple of strings at a time. I'll be looking at pentatonic scales, power chords, palm muting and things all right. But this is for help. I've got an electric solid body ukulele and it's very different, what do I do? So as always, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free, leave it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.